Good morning, it is vlog 2. It is Friday the 26th of January today. Um, it's Ellie's interview today so um, we are just chilling at home until then and I think we're going to head over to Godrevi slash Gwythian. Patrick and I call it different things. Um, because I'm going to show her the surf beach, she's really into surfing so she's going to show her that and we're also going to go look at the seals over in the protected cove on the other side and we're going to go to Harbour Lights in Falmouth for dinner tonight because it's the best fish and chip shop ever because I'm using my iPhone I've not done like importing exporting videos before and I'm finding it quite difficult I've actually had to YouTube how to do it um, because it's not very simple Apple have not made this an easy job um, so they're currently exporting so I can import them into Premiere Pro um, so I thought I'd start the weekly vlog whilst we're here got a lot of waterfalls and things so I'll show you some footage from there okay, well, and then we're gonna head over to Tiddy Woods um so two little short stops yeah 20 past 12 so um we're both absolutely knackered so we're gonna go do that and then come home and have a probably an early evening because we're very tired we've done a lot in the last few days and I've got to edit this week's vlog tonight so I started yesterday it's not going to it's going well so Fingers crossed it will go off, so I will upload that tonight, ready to go live tomorrow. This is part of Colonel Vale. Now. A sudden fog has literally descended upon Cornwall. So if you see out over there, it's so foggy. Good morning. It is Sunday and it's Ellie's last full day in Cornwall. So today we are gonna head off to St Ives and have a little look around there. Um, I think we're pretty much done with the coast. Obviously St Ives is on the coast, but it's more of a touristy spot. So we're going to head off to there. She said it's really warm in Cornwall today, so short sleeves. Obviously we're in a jumper. It's, it's January. Um, so I put my first vlog live this morning. So it's a bit nerve-wracking because I don't know how it will be taken. We're in St Ives. Ellie and I are back from St Ives now. We had a really lovely lunch. Um, 
and I showed all of the beaches like Portmere Beach and the harbour and stuff and went through all the little shops um, so we've had a really lovely afternoon uh, so we're back now uh, it is let me have a look five to four um, so it's still not dark outside and I'm just doing some tidying and I'm going to show you some jeans that I bought from H&M um, because I'm quite annoyed with them so so I bought these jeans from H&M, they are the super skinny stretch from their log, L-O-G-G, -G, label of grand, graded goods from H&M. Um, so these are a size 10, okay? This is a throw pillow next to them. That doesn't really give off a sense of how small they are. If I can show you in the mirror. They are literally like half the width of my body and I'm not a large person they are absolute like that's an A4 put your dress down that's an A4 envelope on them um I did get them in the sale um but I couldn't even do them up and H&M are notoriously bad for uh, that's a UK term um are notoriously bad for um really bad sizing and I'm really disappointed because I've never suffered before. Whereas Ellie has said that she had to get a size 12 dungarees out there once. Um, so I'm going to have to send them back. And I won't be buying online again because I'm unsure on what size to get. Because these are completely these are like the equivalent of a size 6. So I have to send them back. And H&M, I'm not happy with your sizes. We're just doing waterstones. Look what we've seen. We have to say goodbye. Um, she's going home, so I'm on my own for the next few days. Bye. I have just refilmed filmed this clip before, and my grandpa gave me some lovely feedback on my video, and he said that I said um a lot, and I didn't realise that, and I just watched that clip back, and I was saying um. And if anybody has watched How I Met Your Mother, when Robin does her metro news thing they have a game where they have a drinking game where everybody says but um they take a shot and i do not want this video to turn into a but um shot game so let's try this again i've just read an article in bbc wildlife magazine award and um, report magazine for 2018 and i've just been reading about the 20 the a14 upgrade between huntingdon and, New and cambridge and it's the highway agencies biggest ever project at 1.5 billion pounds to do and I was just reading about I can't find it now about the Pat Howard has been putting things in place so that uh oh see um let me just find the article and then I can tell you about it they have basically been putting things in place to create more wildlife hotspots well hotspots areas so they have introduced 271 hectares of wildlife habitats uh, for every tree that they cut down they're planting another two which i mean there isn't really much excuse for, for getting rid of trees in my my eyes but they're trying to rectify the situation they're planting two for every one they cut down so we're going to end up with more trees than we started off with they have constructed 13 new lakes and within these lakes they have created, well maybe it's not created within the lakes, but they've created these um, these uh, ditches for voles, which I'm really happy about, water voles. Um, they have also installed 200 bat boxes across the 271 hectares of wildlife area and they've also built it, built 34 wildlife bridges and I mean the A14 is pretty quick so I wouldn't want anyone any wildlife going over that but 34 wildlife bridges is really good so this article also talks about uh, the, the uh, introduction of nightingales in an old Ministry of Defence area the old Ministry of Defence ground I think you call it um, and they had 85 nightingales roosting there which is actually 1.5 percent of the entire uk's population which i just think is incredible so if you would like to go and read this article it's in this month's wildlife magazine although by the time it's up will be in february so they might have released february's but if anybody would like to read this when i 
read them, I don't keep them, I just throw them away. If anybody would like this, I will happily post out anybody that would like it. Um, so if you message me on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, whatever, I'll happily post it out to anybody that is interested in this article. Uh, so, yes, I will not ramble because that's another thing my grandpa's told me off for. So, I will catch up with you soon. Good morning, it is half past two on Tuesday. Yeah, we've been back a week now. Uh, so I'm going out for a coffee with one of my friends that I was in a house with in first year. So I'm just going to get ready, obviously. I'm not quite ready to go yet. Natasha is due to, well, due to meet her in town. Um, so I thought I'd quickly pop on here and explain that, well, tell you about. Today I bought some public liability insurance, whoop, 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 um, with a company called Ad Aduki, I think, A-A-D-U-K-I. And with that, I also got camera insurance and my laptop insured. And I just wanted to come and recommend them because I just spoke to, I was a bit confused by the different terms and stuff on their website. So I rang them up and I spoke to a really lovely guy called Paul at Customer Services and he was fantastic. Like he explained everything to me. He explained um, all about theft and accidental damage. Um, all of the camera terms, all the liability terms that you don't really understand. And he gave me two quotes for public liability and public liability plus, um, what's it called? Camera insurance. So I ended up going for camera insurance and I explained to him I'm going to America for three months in the summer. And on top of that, I was like, oh, could I have another quote for in a public liability insurance and camera insurance plus worldwide unlimited insurance? And I don't know whether they did me a deal or whatever, but they gave it to me at the exact same price as 60 days, which for me, that won it. A company that is like willing to take a little bit off your price just to have a good customer has really, I'm really impressed with that sort of customer service. So I had a really, really good experience. So I thought I'd come on here, tell you about them. If you need some insurance, please go check them out. Um, I was just really happy with the customer service I got. It took me literally eight or seven minutes to do in total. Um, and it, I thought it was a good price. So yeah, I just thought I'd come and tell you my recommendation. Good afternoon guys, it is Wednesday afternoon, yeah Wednesday afternoon, I've just got back from uni, I went up to chat to one of the tech ladies up there, she helped me with some editing, um, and what I've taken from that is that one, what I want to do is really complicated, two, I need to completely go out and reshoot my images because none of them are suitable, in the slightest, and three, I've got a lot of work to do, um, I'm feeling a bit under the weather today, I'm really tired even though I slept for about 11 hours last night um, and it is a darn miserable day in Cornwall today so that probably doesn't help. I am just about to get on and edit the last Steuben video and I also have, I started um, editing Sam Sam's website last night for Morris Millinery so I'm going to crack on with that and I'll show you some of the final product when it's done. Um, I am just sat in bed, it is 20 past 6. And I am just starting to put together little infographic things for the 30 day Instagram a challenge for equine and rural businesses, which has been created by the fantastic Sophie Callahan. So how I'm doing this, I'm going on to Canva, which was recommended to me from a branch of Holly, who is a blog. I'll link her below as well as Sophie. Um, so they do like these really good Instagram post layouts. So I click on there. And eventually it will pop up. Um, this is one I'm just making for day three of an inspirational quote. All of those Grey's Anatomy fans, you'll see Meredith Grey. Um, so I'll show you some of the others that I've made. This is my one for Introduce Yourself. And I've got a lovely picture of Fred and I on there. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. Last day of the vlog um, for week two. So... I have lectures today, whoop, whoop. 
I have my conservation slash dissertation lecture and professional work placement is the other one. Um, so I'm going to head up to campus soon. I've got about 20 minutes before I've got to leave. Um, I've got a bit of a to-do list today. So I've got a couple of hours in between both lectures. So I'm going to stay up at campus um, and crack on with some work. Sunny today. Yay, I love Cornwall when it's like this. I have finished my lectures for the day, yay, 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 and I just nipped down Falmouth High Street to um, go and buy a few bits. I thought I'd show you them. I got these two cards from Whistlefish Galleries. This one says, darling, you are fabulous. This is for Claire as a thank you card for being my model because her and Walter Simba are just so fabulous. And then this one is for Patrick for Valentine's Day. He doesn't watch these, so I don't think he'll see that. And then bought myself a two slice toaster. We have a toaster in our house upstairs. Up there we have the kitchen, but we live with four boys and they have the kitchen and Jess and I have our little outside, bit outside. And we have a toaster and I have a four pack of bagels and since last Tuesday I've eaten one um, because we don't have a toaster and I don't want to go upstairs to use it. So I bought this little cheapy one, their functional range from Wilco. It was six pounds. I have just spent the last couple of hours on the phone two weeks sorting out a website problem. Um, it is now about half past five. So I'm going to sign off this week's vlog here um, because I'm going out for a few drinks with some friends tonight and I won't be finishing it when I get back. And tomorrow is the start of the new weekly vlog. So I will sign off. Thank you for watching. I'm really, really happy with the feedback I've got so far on the first weekly vlog. It got over 100 views yesterday, which I'm so excited about. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sit down, edit this, make some dinner and then have a few drinks tonight. So I hope you all had a fantastic week. And if you like the video, please subscribe. There'll be more coming.